In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to install new code from scratch on a Cisco Threat Defense device from the CLI. Now, I know I showed you this in earlier videos, but they were much longer, and this is going to get right to the point. And you're going to do this if you just need to start from scratch, which we do at times. So let's take a quick look. So from here, I'm going to log into a freshly booted up Firepower Threat Defense device, and it's going to ask me to put in a new password, and it's going to ask me to configure it, and that's fine. So let's say we come in, we're getting this box from someone off the shelf, whatever. Now from here, what I want to do is say scope, and one of the things I want to do is firmware. So we're going to stay with firmware here. I use my my tab key a lot here. Now from here we're going to do two things. We're going to download to start with and then image and then FTP. Now this could be the slow part for you trying to figure out the IP and, and so on. So first off username colon password at sign one IP address of the FTP server. So this might be your slow slowing down part. Then you're going to put in the code and the SPA. Very important. That's all I have to do. Now it's going to ask me the FTP server password again. And notice it's showing it's downloading. So we're going to wait for this to download. Now, once this downloads, we just downloaded a new image. And if I wanted to go to ASA, I would kind of do the same thing, right? I would download the ASA image in here. But the thing is, is that once this in downloads, then I need to install it. And I could say show download detail and it's going to tell me user ID and so on. And now it's just unpacking it or you could do show download tab key. Notice it does task and it's saying, hey, it's downloading. It's almost done. When that's done, then we can do the install. And once this is completed successfully after just a minute or so, we want to do another scope here. And from here, I want to do an auto install and then question mark. We're going to see install and security pack version is what it's going to ask me. Now I just type in the actual code. So in this case, I'm just going to type in this and that's the code and it's going to go and find it, it says yes and then yes. And that's it. Now, although I showed you this in just two minutes, on how to install new software, new code on a 10.10, 1000 version or 2100 version, uh, this is going to take a while. So in this case here, you're just gonna let this run and come back and check on it probably in 20 minutes or so on. And again, we could do show detail and get some information. This is just going to take a while and we'll see it actually install and then reboot, but that's it. That's as hard as this gets. The hardest part of this is making sure your FTP server is there with the code and you have a connection to it with the user and password. 